How many elves do you need to create a video game? Fellow gamers, elves have never created a video game. First of all, because they're too small. And secondly, because elves don't even exist. So it's up to us humans to do the job. A bit of ancient history. 50 years ago, a computer weighed five times more than a scooter. A game had two colors, and only one engineer was needed to create it. Today, computers have become more powerful, and lucky for us, much lighter. They're also more complicated. Today, hundreds of people spend several years creating a video game. Script writers, game and level designers, programmers, graphic artists, sound designers, testers, project leaders, up to a thousand humans can work on a single game. Claire is a game designer, a bit like an architect. She sets the rules and the mechanics of the game, what we call gameplay. Whether it's a combat or an adventure game, it's she who determines how the game is won. Her goal, for you to have as much fun as possible. Matthias, on the other hand, is in charge of graphics. Using his digital palette, he designs and shapes all of the game's elements in 3D to create a sense of total immersion. Then we have developers, like Florian, who encode the information supplied by the game designer. As experts in computer technology, as well as in math and physics, the developers write thousands of lines of code in different programming languages, like C, C++, or Java. And for the game to be finally placed in your hands, you need managers, market specialists, and salespeople. In large companies as well as small studios, creating a video game is a team effort requiring lots of humans. But if you can't wait, there's software with which you can create your very first video game on your own. Choose your own avatar and design your own levels without any adults or elves. So, check it out. <laughs>